He's a man of tremendous talent and tremendous experience. I watched and read a lot over the last two days. He is highly respected by everybody in the military. McMaster is a replacement for General Michael Flynn, who survived only 24 days in the job after questions emerged about inappropriate communications with Russia. So there's a good deal of relief here in Washington about this appointment. This war-fighting general served in Iraq is also an historian who wrote his PhD analysis about how the civilian and military leadership failed to properly manage the Vietnam War. McMaster's most recent role has been as a kind of army futurologist trying to work out what the U.S. will need to maintain its military edge into the future. But McMaster was not uncritical of the recent reliance on drone warfare and surveillance technology, which ramped up under President Obama. In 2013, McMaster said, and I quote, we assume that advances in information surveillance technology technical intelligence collection, automated decision-making tools, and so on, we're going to make war fast, cheap, efficient, and relatively risk-free. That technology would lift the fog of war and make warfare essentially a targeting exercise in which we gain visibility on enemy organizations and strike those organizations from a safe distance. And he says that's not true, of course. So no questions about this man's intellect, but Donald Trump is ramming his decision-making team with military men. The role of National Security Advisor is much broader in terms of its portfolio, diplomacy, trade, economics, relations with international institutions like the UN and NATO. McMaster's is still relatively untested in these respects. ASEAN.